morning. Today is Monday. It's December 26th. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Look under my beard. Looks a mess. I'm just going to try. I'm going to go upstairs and comb this thing. It's growing all out. I'm going to grow for a little while. Um, day after Christmas. A few, just a few days left in 2022. I had a great... Um, I had dinner over here. I saved my family. I came with ate everything. I mean, there's nothing left. There's some cakes left. Um, there's a little prime rib left. I think I'm gonna eat some of that for breakfast. But they ate up everything, which is perfect. I don't want the leftovers anyway. Um, I had a family, some cousins and family members, and my aunt came over, and I had a friend stop by. Everything was, was great. Um, the food came out good. Um, it was just, we had a really nice, I didn't have as many people as I had here for Thanksgiving. That was a whole nother feast in itself. But um, it was a quiet Christmas dinner here at the house. Uh, the first Christmas here, here at the home. Uh, now it's a quiet morning. I just got up early this morning and started mopping and cleaning up some houses. But I just got a few more pots to wash over there. But I, I had loaded up the dishwasher. I'm glad I loaded up that dishwasher last night. I was able to put all the dishes away. It was nice and clean. So I got up this morning and vacuumed and mopped the floors so it was nice and clean now so the dogs can come piss and grab it everywhere. You know, they're upstairs in the cage. When I'm here during the daytime, they, they go from the, the little doggy room, the outdoors, the back to the doggy room, the outdoors, the back. I don't let them run all over the house. Earl, on the other hand, lets them much run all over the place. When I'm here by myself, they go from that room, they can hang out in there and play, they can come over here with me occasionally, but they go right back outside to use the bathroom, they have to use the bathroom outside. We're getting on a good schedule, just Earl's kind of messing up the schedule because I don't know what he's thinking. You, you know, here. But last night, the, the, um, I had some family members here and we were discussing traveling, y'all. One of the things that you all need to make sure you do, get a passport. I don't care what you do in life. Get out of the United States and go see the world. There's so much to see and do. And when I talk to some of my cousins and family members and they, ain't, they haven't been anywhere or they don't, they don't have a passport and they've never traveled, I'm just like, what are y'all? Life isn't just about living on planet Earth and bringing children into this planet and going to church every Sunday. There's so much to see and do. Get out, get a passport, go travel. Now, I regret I haven't been to places like London and Paris and, you know, but I could definitely afford to go and I'm going too. But get out, go see the world. I want to go see Dubai. I want to go to China. I want to go, you know, get out and go see places. Um, get a passport, travel. Don't just stay here in the United States and think this is just it. That can have a very limited view of the world if you're basing your life here in the United States only on what you see within your neighborhoods or black neighborhoods. Get out. Go places. Do something. There's so much more to the world. You've never been on a cruise. Go on a cruise. You know, cruise cruise trips are affordable vacations where you can go and, and, and see different cities and destinations. I love cruising. You know, I was talking to my cousin and she was just like, well, I haven't ever done this, I never did that. And I'm thinking, you know, we're in our 50s now. I and mean, some of my cousins don't even have passports. I'm like, I don't have a passport. Yeah, but they too been so busy trapped in the culture of the black community, having children, raising them. I mean, you did, there's no way I would have children and I don't have them passports and we're not getting out of this country to go see the world, go visit and go places. It's not expensive. And you hear people say, well, I never had an interest in going. I've had an interest, I like to travel. And if I wasn't, if I hadn't been fooling with this house this year, I would have been gone this Christ this Thanksgiving and Christmas. But I listen, do what you want to do, but get out and go see the world.
there's so much to see. Don't just stay, you know, you don't have to stay trapped in Nigglyville. You really don't. There are, there, there, there's no gate or cage around Nigglyville. Force you to remain there. <coughs> Excuse me, get out and go see the world. Go, go do adventures, go take vacations, take your family members from places to do stuff. Um, I would definitely say, if, if you never really get your passport, start off. You can start off with easy destinations like Mexico or the Caribbean. And I don't understand the fear of traveling. I've never had this fear to travel and get out and go see the world. Travel, broaden your horizons, go places. There's so much to see and do. You know. Like I said, there are a lot of places I definitely have on my bucket list and I should have been went to. Don't let life pass you by while you're in good health. And you get to a point where you're walking with a cane or a wheelchair before you go out and see places. Postpone that new car that you think about buying and use that money to go take a vacation and travel and go places. Get out and go see the world. Go see there's so many opportunities, so much stuff to see and do. You know, I, this, I was, we were having a conversation and it just kind of, I was surprised by the lack of, um, some of my family members haven't taken those opportunities to get out and go see places and travel and do stuff. I, I recommend traveling to anybody. It's a great, going on vacation is just so exciting. And taking you, take your children, get them out, go see stuff. How do you expect your children to know there's more than life than Niggerville? If, if that's all y'all see all day and every day. I don't know. Anyway, that's just my thoughts and opinions. Don't pay me no attention. I'm just a crazy man over here with a passport. We're ready to run up out of here right now. If it wasn't freezing cold in the airports, wasn't packed with people trying. I'd be in there. I have a friend who left yesterday for Cancun. I texted him and said, How's Cancun? He said, It rained yesterday, but it's warm today. Let me see. I'm going to just ask him what that temperature was in Cancun. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. What is the temperature in Cancun? Where are we? It is, what is this? Oh, where's the temperature thing? There it is. So, first off, let's just see. Oof. Well, I know what, it's 82 degrees in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Mm, let's see. Cancun is 72. Kingston, Jamaica is 82 degrees. So, 72 in Cancun, 82 in Kingston, Jamaica. Ultra Rios is 81. I oh, dang it. Nice. Let me see. Jamaica gonna get to a high of eighty four. Ooh, it's gonna be eighty five tomorrow. Gonna be all in the eighties tomorrow. I need to be in Jamaica. Let me see the Dominican. But how? Let's just go back to that. The Dominican is gonna be um, all in the eighties all week long. Give time to the 70s over the weekend, but in the 80s, I don't know. Nice. Well, get out and go see some stuff. Y'all can't just sit around here and then, I don't know. That's one good thing about social media, because on Instagram, you see all these guys traveling, going places, doing all kinds of stuff. And then just be looking at their pictures and wow. If I have a friend named Tony, he travels all over the doggone place. I mean, he go, he stay gone. Um, so how do you work this job and stay going places, beautiful places too? Get out, go see the world, do something fun, y'all. Don't just stay. There's so much to see and do. That's one thing I hope that my brothers and sisters, my black brothers and sisters, I'm referring to all of us in this world, being a, a black American, go see the world. 
And y'all, when I go places and they see me as a black man, you will be amazed how people run up to you and how they're so happy to see you. I don't care where I go. It's just, it's just weird. And, uh, I guess because we kind of tall and big, and they just run up like uh, they want to take pictures and everything. I mean, it's, it's so funny because every time we go somewhere, we're around a bunch of Asians. They tend to be shorter. They got to take a picture. Do you mind if we take a picture with you? I say, okay, yeah, I'm fine. You don't get all upset, but I don't know. Take I said, yeah, this is the picture. And I go there, my phone, poke my chest, smile, and they want to take pictures and stuff. Get out. And that's one of the reasons why I want to go to Asia. I would love to go to China. I'd love to visit Japan. Love Singapore. There's so many places I want to go to. And I'm going to start doing some stuff too. But get up, go out and see the world. Put it on your bucket list. It won't kill you to visit places. Get your passport. And get out and go see stuff. Get out and go see the world. And, you know, and do something productive. You have it. So I'm going to uh, finish cleaning up over here. I need to do I got to go to Home Depot. Well, oh yeah. So the weather, that's what I was going to say. The weather was freezing cold here. And it, I don't know if you all saw these news reports of all these pipes busting and floods and all that stuff. So I was watching that stuff. So I mean, ran through that, I was make sure the fossils were dripping, went down the basement, looked at them pipes, covered up all the stuff. I was make sure I can't, can't have four to have no pipe bust over here. But we have the heat on. In fact, it's a little chilly in this room right now. I must have turned the heat. Um, um, let me see, why is it a little chilly? Let me change the heat up a little bit now over here. Yeah, I had turned it down when I was cleaning up. You get to moving around and you can't get burning up, then you just sit down and say, oh, yeah. Yeah, so let me this? turn this up a little bit, yeah. That's one thing about having nice, you just go right there to your phone and turn, turn to unlock it. You know, you unlock it, somebody can get lock somebody else out of it. You unlock it, you can turn the temperature up. But yeah, there's a lot of people who been pipe but flooded. I remember growing up in Gary, Indiana. And my father and him down in the basement with a blowtorch sometimes trying to unfreeze them pipes. I don't know why the pipes would freeze down in the basement. Maybe because we didn't have heat down in the basement. I don't remember. I was a little kid. My basement is heated here. I went down there and made sure the heat was on. It was nice and warm. I said, oh, good. We can't have no frozen pipes over here. But we haven't had any issues here. Um... That's one thing about, about being a homeowner, you have to constantly walk around the house to make sure everything's okay. You know, I did my perspections yesterday as I walked around and said, it didn't seem to be fine. You had to go up four levels. So you got to go from level to level and look, make sure ain't no bird crashing to a window up there and on, on the attic floor. You got to go up there and look, make sure it ain't fine. Yeah, but I had a nice time with my family members and stuff over here. It was nice to, to get everybody together for Christmas. It was just a beautiful day yesterday. We we had food, desserts. Uh, I, I actually took the prime whip and put it on the grill, and it was delicious. Instead of cooking it in the oven, I cook it. I'm gonna do that from here on out because sometimes that prime rib can make a mess in the oven. and put it right on this grill out there and smoke it, and it came out delicious. It was just it was char. I put it on the charcoal side of the grill. And um, didn't take long season that I put it out there on the grill, and it um, it was very, very about to eat a piece of it right now. It was delicious. So this will be a little short video. Um, I hope you all had a great Christmas. It was just, man, Santa brought y'all something nice. Like I can see Santa brought me this damn house, so this is my Christmas gift. This gift right here. I got to go back home deep. I need some cleaning supplies. I need new mops. I need a bag of dirt to repot this flower. One of my topiaries on the front getting tip topped over. I gotta repot it in the plant. plant. It's cold out there. Ooh, let me get some dirt. That day I laid that thing on that porch and said, forget it. But it's cold out there, so hopefully it'll warm up over the next few days. I need to get some new mops. Um, and mops don't last long. They're expensive too. And I said, ooh, this thing didn't last long. I throw them out. Go up there and get some new mop heads. Just constantly mopping over and cleaning, but the house is nice and clean. That spotless smells really nice too. 
I get need some more air fresheners too. I need to make a little list. So I need to go buy Home Depot and Walmart. I bet you I bet you Walmart is packed. Day after Christmas. Well, anyway, today is Monday. It is December the 26th. I saw a news article I saved. I'm going to come back and talk about that later on. After I make me some breakfast because I'm going to be here for a minute. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm planning on going to the gym, but that won't be until later. Cause it's about going on 1044 now. But there's a news article I saved, downloaded, and uh, it's out of Columbus, Ohio. Crazy situation with this girl who kidnapped these twin babies. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway, I'm going to talk about that later. Today is Monday, December 26th. The year is 2022. Get out, do something, get a passport, go out, be inspired to go someplace. Y'all, we need to start this travel club because I'm beginning to see we got to get we got to get our brothers and sisters out and travel and go places and do stuff. Got to see the world. Got to get out of Nickelville. So much more to see. So much world. So many. I just I just think the world is a big, bright, beautiful place. Get out sometimes. Um, go visit and see places. Anyway, today is Monday, December 26th, the year is 2022. Let me know how your Christmas was and what I have for dinner, how the food was, and I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of this beautiful Monday.